Hello, Haley here with the Armageddon Report. We do have another moderate risk day, so we're going to talk about that shortly, but to give you a little bit of preview, there's the orange arrows, the moderate risk, and then we do have a 15% chance of a tornado, and then an additional chance that it will be significant tornadoes, EF2 or greater. But first, I want to show this. This is something I'm thinking about integrating into the screencast. This is a time lapse of yesterday's storm report and today, and I'm going to speed it up doing the sped up version today. So all the red stuff is tornado. So that was yesterday, and at some point, let's see, overnight, and then it calms down for a second, and then it starts generating again. So, right, so we'll talk about that on another day when we've got more time. And then I wanted to cover snow since we did have some areas where there's at least four inches of the probability of at least four of at least eight inches at least a foot and then a quarter inch of icing so high is red so the red areas are where there's the greatest probability so for instance there's a high chance that there will be at least eight inches of snow accumulation in some of these areas and then it looks like there might be green it's hard to tell on the icing thing so obviously if you're in those areas pay attention hopefully you already know what's coming so here's, again, the generic map, but we're going to break it down. 45% chance of severe winds. Severe winds would be 58 miles per hour greater. We've got a 15% chance of hail. That would be one inch or larger. And then here is the map where it shows the probability of a tornado. So there's two things going on. There's the probability in general. And then the black hatched area is the area where there's an additional chance that the tornadoes that occur would be significant, and that's defined as EF2 or greater. And the scale goes from EF0 to EF5. EF5 would like level your house, and even if you're underground, you may not survive it, you know, depending on conditions, but to give you an idea. And uh, I learned recently, apparently EF1s can destroy mobile homes. So basically, if there's gonna be any sort of a wind event and you live in a mobile home, you should get out, basically, and go to a shelter of some sort. So that's what's going on today. We'll look at tomorrow, March, or Ides of March, is that what they call it? We've got another slight risk going on. And then here's the breakdown of the severe risk. So 15%, there's your slight risk, and then the 5% around it. And then day three, in the area that's currently getting hit, let's make this more visible, we're gonna have another slight risk, and it's actually 30%. So compared to today, 45% is the, highest chance and of course I believe when day when today was day three so three days ago it was only saying 30 percent so we could see another significant weather day I don't know we'll have to keep an eye on it obviously and then the, here's the probability breakdown and one more thing we'll look at here are the reports because obviously if we look at the warnings the warnings would be out of date by the time you're watching this but so we can filter, we've had some tornadoes again today. Six reports apparently filtered by that. So there you go. And we'll zoom out to give you some perspective mostly. Looks like it's all Kentucky, possibly. No one in Indiana. Anywho, so if you're in an affected area, get yourself a weather radio. Here's some more tips. I'm gonna compile this at some point, uh, but get a whistle. I thought that was pretty smart because I didn't come up with this idea. But so if you're trapped under debris, if you've got a whistle, you might be able to generate more noise. Wear a helmet if you can. So if you've got like a, if you drive or ride a motorcycle, whatever the phrase is, use a helmet. Or if you've got a bike helmet or something of the sort. And shoes, because, you know, if everything is broken, you don't want to be walking on broken glass, unless you're Annie Lennox. I think that's how the joke would go. Anyway, so stay safe out there if you can. You know, that's a horrible thing to phrase it that way. Um, pay attention at Wicked Wix, W I C K E D W X dot com and weather dot gov and get your weather radio. Watch local TV only if they cover the weather, of course. If they're not going to break in, then who cares about them? Anyway, stay safe out there today.